Hello guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench, Mr. Croaky Throat, and I have another kit review for you today. Um, part 9 of the Sky Crane is just about to come out, I've, I've just got to edit it and it will be out. Um, and I've got a couple of new car kits this week. The first one I got was this one, and I know everybody wants to see this, or a lot of people want to see this. This is the Alpha Model Rocket Bunny GR Yaris HKS, which is a car I absolutely love. As some of you will know, I own a GR Yaris. Waited 18 months for it. Bloody awesome little car. This is the wide bodied version. Not sure about its accuracy or whatever, but uh, you can see on there. I got this from here, a boy. So keep an eye open. I will have a video review of that very soon. But today I want to review this. Uh, out of respect for Mr. Craig Breen, who unfortunately lost his life last Thursday in a uh, incident in testing. Um, it really, really moved me and I can't watch anything now on the WRC channel without ending up in tears because all the drivers are really, really uh, upset and everything. So this is the Hyundai i20 Coupe WRC Monte Carlo 2020. So there were three cars entered. So you've got Thierry Neuville, Sebastian Loeb and Oit Tannock, um, all drivers for those three cars in that uh, rally. Now, the same car was driven by Craig Breen for a couple of events. I think Finland. I'm not sure. I think Finland. Um, and I'm hoping somebody will come out with a set of decals to do this car in that scheme so we can pay respects to the lovely Craig Breen. But this is a beautiful kit. If you haven't heard of Chris over at Rally Car Miniatures, I will put a link down below uh, to his channel. Rally Car Miniatures, he is... Um, rally car through and through he hasn't done any build videos yet he's done a review of the 2019 version of this kit but he's going to be doing a build video very very shortly like imminently of the 2019 he's actually got the paints from paul breton and simon shorey to do that with and um, i'm sure it's going to be a fantastic build and you can uh, go and watch that on his channel Rally Car Miniatures, go go have a look, go give him a sub. He's only got about 189 subs, I think, and uh, he needs more. So please go and sub to him. It costs you nothing. You don't have to click the bell. Just go and sub to him and give him some subs. So this is the kit from Bell Kits. I-20 Coupe WRC 2020. Um, it's got photo etch parts included. It has a description on the side of the box there telling you in all three languages there all about the kits and it's about that kit it's got english instructions and um all sorts of stuff um so yeah it's beautiful and it's all wrapped in cellophane i got this from jad lamb and in typical jad lamb style it came wrapped in a piece of cardboard in a plastic bag and if you can see here there is if you can see where my finger is there is a piece of plastic coming through the box so I'm hoping it's not damaged if you get one from Jumbly's models or whatever it's going to cost you more money because Jad Lam are the cheapest out there generally but unfortunately the packaging isn't that great so the reason I'm doing this with the cellophane still on I'm cutting this open now is so that if I do have an issue with broken parts I can send this video link to Jad Lam and they can see that I'm not trying to take the mick and rip them off or whatever um, so there we go, let's remove the cellophane. And there we go, we have a nice glossy box, which is great for the camera, lovely. And uh, yeah, really, really nice, um, beautiful, beautiful model. And as we can see here, we've got the plastic sprue there is ridden up on top of the body and the top mount is pushing through the, um, through the box. Now, this isn't a full detail kit. It doesn't have a detailed engine or whatever. So the top mount doesn't matter. Um, if that's damaged or whatever, it doesn't matter. I just hope the body's not damaged. Bell kits used to come with the body in a cardboard box, which protected it. And they've, for some reason on this one, they haven't done that. Um, as I say, go look at Chris Rally Car Miniatures and he will actually give you more of an insight into bell kits than I can because I know nothing about rally car. Well, I know a little bit about rally cars, um, but I know nothing about bell kits. So let's have a look. We got all individually bagged sprues here which is very nice so that's all looking good we've got the body there we've got some wheels there we've got clear parts there in the middle which is probably not the best thing to do but we shall see how that comes out 
And we've got some roll cage parts there. And we've got tyres, underbelly protection. We've got the uh, rear diffuser there. And we have what I, you all know I hate. We have decals facing up. So I kind of wish, why don't they just bloody do that? Come on, kit companies, stop putting the decals facing up because what happens, as you can see here, you have the sprues digging on the surface where it's all vibrating around in transit and they get damaged. It's like, oh, stop doing it, please. Um, just do that. It's not difficult. Right, so we have instructions, decals, photo etch parts. We have some nice shiny chrome steel parts there. And uh, yeah, lots and lots to be going on with. So, let's get the box out of the way. Let's get this bag open. Let's have a look at the instructions. Right, so here's the instructions. 124 of scale, bell kits. Bell 021 is the part number, and this is the I-20 Coupe WRC 2020. Now, I don't know what the difference is between the 19 and 20, but I'm sure after you've seen this video and you've watched Chris's video, then you will know which is which. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful car in beautiful, beautiful colours. If you've watched any of the um, the parade today from the from Croatia, you'll see that the cars have been done in memory of um, Craig Breen. The cars have been done in Irish colours and they look absolutely beautiful. And I'm really hoping somebody does those decals. But uh, they wouldn't be appropriate for this car because the car is not a 2023 rally car. So hopefully somebody will bring out a 2023 rally car. So here we go. Bell kits, correction, decor. So obviously they've realised they've done something wrong. So there we go. We have a beautiful little decor sheet. And those decors do look very nice because ta -da, they're a cartograph. And they are really, really nice indeed. Very, very nice. We've got the sheet over the front there. So we'll put those to one side. So... Listening to Chris, apparently Bell Kit's instructions have just got better and better and better. When they started, apparently they weren't very good and they're just getting better and better now. Um, and also, apparently, I'm hearing that Bell Kit's apparently get some pretty bad reviews from people. But I don't really know why, because it seems to be, you know, beautiful, lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely job. So here we've got the colour callouts and here we have the actual... Um, the WRC blue Pantone, the luminous red Pantone and the night blue Pantone. And we have the actual colours there, the codes from Hyundai. So really, really nice of the Hyundai. Um, we've got Tamiya and N5 colours. I've never heard of N5 colours. They may be a Korean company, I don't know, or maybe a Chinese company, but uh, I've never heard of them. But here we have all the colour callouts in Tamiya which is really, really nice. And they've also got LP callouts, callouts as well, which is very unusual to see. Even in a Tamiya kit, you don't generally see LP callouts. We've got the sprue callout here, which is all very, very nice. All looking very good. Parts are not numbered, so you're going to have to make sure you keep an eye on the sprues. Um, and I'm not sure if the parts are even numbered on the sprues. We'll have a look in a minute. But we've got a lovely little selection of PE parts there. And we've got parts here. So Chris is going to be watching this now. And he can see from here what the difference is in the 2019 and the 2020. And no doubt he will comment below so you can actually see for yourself. So here we go. We're straight in with the uh, the floor pan, the lower floor pan. And we've got some painting going on. It's telling us to drill some holes. We've got the location of the holes. We've got the size to drill them, which is great. Thank you. Rather than just drill hole. Then we've got some brake ducting here. We've got some, it looks like anti-roll bar linkages there. Uh, and then we've got a dummy sort of engine base going in there, which is going to be covered up by a bash plate anyway. We've got a dummy steering rack. No, that's um, that's uh, not steering rack. That's uh, drive shafts. Then we're building up our front end. So we've got um, discs there with moulded in um, calipers. We've got a rubber or a poly cap going in there by the look of it. And they're giving us here, and you can see there, unlike a lot of manufacturers, you've got all the individual color callouts for all the individual parts, which is really nice. Um, and it looks like we've got the Brembo logo in the disc, as well as a, a Brembo decal to go on the caliper there. 
adding the front suspension in, adding in the lower front cross member, and then we're building up the rear suspension here. Rear diff going in, we've got some brake ducting there or some cooling ducting, and we've got a um, radiator there, that's probably a rear diff cooler. So lots and lots of detail going in here. Again, you've got all the detail painting instructions. And then here we've got lower wishbones going into the rear end. We've got part of the um, protection system there. And we've got the lower cross members going in and then we're adding the rear diffuser, which is integral with the bash plate and the front bash plate or sump guard, whatever you want to call it. Wheels, tires going on. Looks like this is a uh, tarmac spec by the look of it, looking at those tires. And then you've got the, um, the wheels going on there. You'd probably not put the wheels on yet. And then here we've got some is that intercoolers or something going on there. It looks like it's part of the intercooler radiator assembly going together there. And then we've got the front air dam there going in with the, with the splitter integral. We've got cylinders going inside. Uh, we've got a jack going in the back there and lots and lots of bits. We've got the navigator's footrest there. Looks like a gear linkage and handbrake together. And then we've got a driver's footrest and driver's floor pan there. And then here we've got the actual center console with all the instruments on it. And you can see here we've got a picture there of the actual genuine thing. So you've got the pro proper good reference photos and we've got a fire extinguisher going in there. Going over the page, we've got the spare wheel going in the back and then we've got the actual straps with the PE um, sort of bits and pieces with the actual proper fabric straps holding the spare wheel in. So that's going to look nice. And then we've got the driver's seat here. It's saying paint first before applying decals. So I'm guessing we're going to have Sparco or whatever it is on there. And then we've got the photo etch side plates going on, which are actually seat mounts that mount it into the floor. And then we've got all the six point or is it one, two, three, five point harness. It could be a six point underneath. It might be a six point, but it's five point here. And then we've got the co-driver's seat here again going in. We've got all the PE parts going on the side, which is lovely. Very, very detailed instructions here for doing the interior panels. It looks like we've got carbon fiber decals because they're telling you where all the decals go and they're telling you what color to paint each individual part. Then you've got the roll cage sides going in here with the big foam protection parts going on there. And it looks like we're adding them into the side panels, which is a bit weird. Um, you may decide when I build this, I'll probably decide to build the roll cage up and then add the side panels after which is more of a conventional style of build, but um, we shall see if that's possible. Then here we've got the, what is this? This is the steering column. I wonder what that was. This is the steering column, and it looks like we have there a paddle. Now, I didn't think they use paddles in uh, WRC cars, but never mind, we shall see. Um, so we've got paddles both sides. We've got the seats going in. And then we're going to add the rest of the roll cage in here with the steering column going in, fit into the side of the roll cage. It's all a little bit complex. I'm going to drop it in, but um, I'll do a build of this. And Chris is going to do a build of this and we will see how we can sort of alter it and make it a bit easier to get together. Instrument panel there. It's going to be like a Motec panel, the steering wheel there. We've got the instrument panel there going on. And then we've got the rest of the roll cage, which is integral with the rear towers there, strut towers which is very nice. And then we've got the whole interior going in. And as Chris said in his review, one of the nice things with these kits, as with a lot of the Tamiya kits as well, you get an under tray. So you've got all the detail on the floor underneath. And then you get an interior. So you've got all the detail inside. Adding some detail there and some glazing into the, into the body shell. And then uh, they're asking us to fill the holes if we're not using the night race lice. So I, I can't believe they got the holes there already they have I'm just looking at the body I, I would have thought they would have left them flashed over so you could drill them and then we've got um how to paint the headlights here because they're as you know modern headlights are a nightmare for, for car modelers same with tail lights they can be a nightmare as well and then we've got all this going together here all these bits and pieces going on massive rear spoiler the side glazing is going in from the outside so you can basically get all your model painted deckled up and then put those in at the last and then we've got the uh Bonnet pin covers going in there. We've got the PE for a mesh grill in the front, and then they actually surprise you with a PE mask so you can splay, 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 spray the Hyundai N on the front grill there, which is a nice touch. And then we're adding some more little greeblies and adding the side mirrors and everything. And then we're going to pop the body down onto the um, 
chassis and then add the rear wheel arches now something we want to do is look at if we can add those wheel arches before we pop the body on because obviously it'd be better to paint it all together i'm guessing then we've got the color call outs here so this is for newville um who is I, I think he's a great great driver he's a lovely lovely guy i have a lot of respect for him um so you have all the different car numbers there we've got eight nine and eleven for Newville, um, Ott, and who was the other guy? I can't remember the other guy's name. I'm really sorry. It's on the front of the box. Sebastian Loeb. How could I forget Sebastian Loeb? Shoot me. <laughs> Idiot. So you've got Sebastian Loeb, Tierra Newville, and Oit Tanak. You can build them as, and the cars I'm guessing are all the same. It's just the numbers are different. So uh, yeah, this is done for the Monte Carlo Rally. 2020 so very very nice instructions very very nice color call outs they've come a long long way and i'm really pleased to say that let's have a look at the decals so the decal sheet is in a resealable bag which is nice otherwise i wouldn't be opening it because i don't know when i'm going to build this or even if i'm going to build it to be honest um so we have very very large and lots of decal sheets here so we have in here, we have the main decal sheet for the car. And you can see we've got all the, the beautiful livery and everything going all over. We have some carbon fibre decals as well. This is the rear window, so you don't have to do any painting. We've got the massive sun strip there. And we've got the Monte, Car Monte Carlo rally there, 8, 9 and 11 for the various different drivers. Very, very nice indeed. And you've got this decal to go around the front because that's rubber air dam that stops air going under the car. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. You've got the really fluorescent colours there. And um, very, very nice indeed. Have a look at that. The register is beautiful. And again, I think these are probably... I can't see cartograph. Yes, there we go. Cartograph at the top, they're cartograph decals, so they are going to be a joy to work with. And Chris tells me these are just the best he's ever used. And then we've got the three different coloured um, air intakes for the uh, for the air intake that goes on the roof here, here that one there. So we've got the uh, the French. Can't remember what that one is. And the Belgian one there. So very, very nice indeed. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice decals. As I say, Chris tells me they go down like a dream. Um, we've got here, we've got like a basic red and a blue block. So that's going to be for your repairs. And then you've got carbon and we've got the um, Kevlar there. So we've got Kevlar and carbon decals there, which is very nice indeed it's a nice touch they've done that so that's going to be your little repair pieces um, and then on here we have our seats and carbon fiber interior parts so lots and lots of bits and pieces going on there we also have decals for seat belts which i find very weird because we have seat belt material unless perhaps you add those decals on top of the seat belt material we've also got some kevlar parts there to go around the doors by the look of it so yeah They've really gone to town, and again, these are cartographed. They've really gone to town. We've got tyre decals there. We've got instrument panel decals there. Really, really lovely. Look at that. It's beautiful. And it's like people will say, oh, yeah, but these bell kits, they're really expensive. Um, this was 64 95 I think, from Jadlam. But when you bear in mind, you have the kit... You have all the decals for all the seats and everything. You have all the photo etch. You have the fabric belts, you know, all in one box. It's not that bad. And we've also got masks. We have masks here for the windows to paint the insides of the windows. We've got, um, we've got some reflective parts there for, I'm not sure what that is. They look too big to be mirrors, but, uh, and then we have the actual belt material as well. So, you know, all in the box, really, really nice. And then we've got the photo etch here. Uh, it looks like it's in nickel silver or stainless steel. Very, very nicely done. We've got the, the Brembo brakes, as you can see on there. 
we've got that mask so we can spray the um, the end on the front grill and then we've got other grills and bits and pieces and we've got some buckles for the harnesses and stuff we've got the front grill there's the outer frame of the front grill very very nice indeed okay so let's have a look at some plastic and rubber and stuff so we've got some tires here i don't need to open this bag but we can see that the the tires are beautifully molded and the tread is really really gorgeous we don't have any rubber seam line around the middle or anything so that's really really nice we've got our poly caps there for our wheels we've got the rubber underbelly protection panels there molded in vinyl and we've got some brake ducting there as well so that's really nice so that's beautifully done uh, here we have a bag i shall open this bag up and we have in here some beautifully molded parts i'm sure and we have the rear diffuser there with the rear belly bash plate pan whatever you want to call it we've got the front splitter there with the air dam on it you can see the rubber panel going around we've got the exhaust there which is slide molded it looks like the exhaust so you can see that's really nicely done and then we've got those rear fender parts and the rear inner fender parts there so that's beautifully done um, and it's saying on here i20 wrc so i'm looking forward to chris commenting below to see what is different about this kit and the 2019 there must be a difference otherwise they would have just marketed one kit so that's all lovely we'll put this back in the bag so the plastic doesn't get scratched because it is beautifully molded next up we've got the body shell yes um which is beautifully done apparently uh, according to Chris and Chris knows his stuff now here we have the body shell and it's beautifully done it's obviously slide molded I can't see yeah there is a seam line running along there down the pillar over the edge of that bonnet there we go so there is a seam line there I can feel it I don't know where it finishes here but uh, it certainly runs down there but um Nothing that a bit of sanding won't get rid of. And as you can see, the body is full of holes for antennas and door handles and windows and bits and pieces. And as we saw in the instructions, it's telling us to fill these holes if we don't want to put the night lights on. To be honest, it's, it's, it's just a bit of a gripe, really. It's not a big game changer, but I, I would have thought they would have molded those holes flashed over and then given the option to drill them to fit the uh, lights. But um, as you can see, tiny little car... And then when you start adding a WRC to it, it just becomes a big fat boy. So um, there we are. Very, very nice indeed. Beautiful moulding on there. Really, really lovely. So yeah. Lovely little kit this. Right, let's have a look at this bag here. So once again, we've got some detail parts so here we have that great big wrc rear spoiler which is absolutely gorgeous i'm assuming that is also part of the rear spoiler we've got the front arches there front wheel arches which is nice and then we've got the the sump with the transmission which you're not going to see anyway because it's got a bash plate going over it we've got some bits and pieces of whatever it is that i think that's part of the suspension we've got our wipers there beautifully molded uh, we've got the surround for the radiator pedals and door handles and other bits and pieces of greeblies here uh, that's going underneath the dashboard i remember seeing that in the instructions but we've got slide molding going on here very very nice indeed very beautifully molded no flash no horrible ejector pin marks anywhere really really nice you have to be very careful removing these parts from the sprue because if you use normal cutters normal nippers they're probably going to snap that off that's an antenna by the look of it but as you can see the detail in these parts we've got the again this is slide molded that way and that way but the detail in the back of those wheel arches there this really is something else it really is um you know forget the subject it's a lovely plastic model kit it's it's beautifully molded um oh please just go in and please don't break that wiper blade off. Oh, that could 
them later. God dear. Right. So what have we got here? We have we have here some roll cage parts. Oh dear, this is doing my head in now. We have some roll cage parts um, and the rear top mounts, which are very, very nice indeed. And we've got the steering column support there with one of the paddles on. I'm not quite sure what that is. But uh, yeah, you've got the, the side roll cage parts. We've got an ejector pin mark in the back there, but it's not going to matter. Um, it's all very, very beautifully done. There's no, there's no flash. There's no massive seam lines or anything. A um, little bit of sinkage in there, which might want to be filled, but... You know, I don't think you're going to really, really see it. I guess the inside is all going to be painted silver. But, um, yeah, very nice. Look at the, the, the detail on the roll cage there. You can see there's like a padded bag, whatever it is there. And then there's something there, whatever it is. You can see those top mounts, which look gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, very, very nice. It's a bloody impressive little kit, this. Really pleased with it. Uh, we have another bag here. You see it just goes on and on and on with lots and lots of bags. Yay, we actually got one cut off. Um, so this is our this is our main floor pan. Plastic feels very nice. It feels it's not too hard, not too soft, it feels lovely. Um, but yeah, we've got a floor pan there, we've got the ducting there, we've got part of the exhaust there by the look of it. Um, so very nice, we've got our front struts here. Here's our front bash plate or sump guard. And we've got some other greeblies. There's that oil cooler for the back end. We've got the lower um, subframe for the front or the back, I can't remember. I think that's the front. And we've got the rear diff there. So yeah, all very, very nice indeed. Really, really lovely. You can see the detail on the side there. But you know, like I say, this area here, this area, you're not gonna see any of it. So. You might decide just to paint it black and put the bash plates over it, but uh, it is very nice. We've got some flash there, but it's all on the sprue. There's no flash on the parts whatsoever. Really, really lovely engineering going into this kit. Lots of slide moulding as well. Now the sprue here, we've got seats. Let's open it on this end so we don't damage anything so we've got this is our internal floor so this is what's really nice we've got an internal floor so you're not having to you know sort of glue seats onto the external floor you've got this all and then you've got this beautiful complex built up um, area with your door cards and everything you can see you've got all the pockets in there for the navigators maps and notes and bits and pieces we've also got the seats there so we've got a driver's seat and a co-driver's seat and they are obviously different, which is nice. It's an airy take note when you do a 12 scale Lancia. Um, but yeah, very, very nicely done indeed. You've got the little cylinders there, the master cylinders coming off the uh, the brake pedal. And you've got your top mounts there, your, your turreted rear end, which obviously part of the roll cage is going to make the top of that all detailed. So it's lovely. Those door, look at those door cards, they're very, very complex. Very, very nice indeed. So, it's a lovely little kit, isn't it? And then we have another sprue here with yet another seat. And this bag is open on its own. I don't need to cut it open. So we have the instrument panel there. You can see we've got the top all shiny. And then we've got the front there, so it's slide moulded. So that's nice. They've done it in one piece. We have the front and rear light clusters there with need to paint them up whatever fit clear parts and then other bits of vents for the this is probably for the rear rail arches there we've got that additional seat not sure what that's for and then we've got this here not exactly sure what that is but it's beautifully molded you can see we've got vents we've got vents in the back of it there are see-through and then we've got detail on the front which is also hollowed out it's uh very very complex little part of that blimey that must have taken some work to get that done so uh 
Yeah, Belkits have certainly spent a lot of money on tooling to get this done. And uh, yeah, I'm glad they have because it's um, it's paid off. Very, very nice. If you enjoy rallying, if you enjoy rally cars, you enjoy building cars, I would thoroughly recommend this to anyone who's, uh, who's thinking about it. Right, so here we have the, the wheels and the brakes. Didn't we see some brakes earlier? I thought we did. We've got some wheels here, so you can see these are the four wheels that are going to attach to the car because they've got the, the nuts integral and the centre caps and everything. And then that's going to be your spare that goes in the back. And then we've got our front and rear discs, which I could have short, sworn we saw earlier. So maybe we get some spares. But you can see there the detail on the wheel. Absolutely lovely. The nut detail and everything. Really, really nice. So that's very pleasing. And then finally, we have the clear parts. And I don't want to get these out because they may well get scratched. But they'll tell you what, I will get them out. I can always take the bag up, can't we, guys? So, oh, yes. Oh, yes. They are very, very clear. Um, do the distortion test. You can see the writing here on the instructions. Look at that. Very, very nice indeed. Really lovely. So, um, yeah, a bit of care. What's nice here, the windscreen goes in on these four pins, so you just glue those four pins. You don't need to worry about putting glue around the outside. Rear screen, you're going to have to glue the sides, but it's got that big black surround around it, so you're going to be okay there. And then we've got decals for them anyway. But, uh... Yeah, they are very, very nice. They're some of the nicest clear parts I think I've ever seen. So, uh, wow, Bell Kits, you've really gone to town here, haven't you? You've done a fantastic job. So there we go, guys. So that has been a review of the Bell Kits i20 Coupe WRC. This is the 2020 version, Bell 021. Don't forget, you can also get the 2019 version and if you want to see a review of that kit as I say I'll put a link down below Chris over at Rally Car Miniatures he's done a review of it and he's very shortly going to be starting a build so uh, all in all a lovely lovely model from uh, from a great little manufacturer so I'm just hoping hoping and praying we can get from Bell Kits we can get or Tamiya we can get the Puma the Hyundai Hyundai, should I say, and the GR Yaris from the 2022 WRC, 2023 WRC, and then somebody will do Craig Breen um, decals, or sorry, in memory of Craig Breen decals, so we can have one in the Irish scheme. But uh, I'm not sure how really how much different looks wise this car is to the the hybrid one. But I uh, have to have a look. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. Bit of unusual stuff for me to review a car, but uh, this car, when I saw Chris review it, really, really got my goat. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.